Attention, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here with you all to our masterclass today talking about the top five benefits of Lean Six Sigma to your professional career. If possible, please type here for me on a scale from zero to ten, how is my audio? Please how is my audio? of these songs. Who knows? Okay, so today Eric Clapton. Sir, Mr. Eric Clapton. Today I'll be talking about the top five benefits of Lean Six Sigma to your professional career. So know that when we talk about Lean Six Sigma, we are talking about process mapping, project charter, problem statement, goal statement, pyramid structure, smart, uh, how to define, properly define it, the scope of your project. We can talk about measurement system analysis, attribute agreement analysis. We can talk about root cause analysis. We can talk about Lean Solutions impact effort matrix we can talk about hypothesis test two sample t two proportions one sample t one proportion sky square anova we can talk about design of experiments full factorial fractional factorial response surface methodology capability analysis we have capability analysis for non-normal data we do have non-parametric hypothesis tests. We have control plans. We have FMEA. We have so many tools and techniques as part of this toolbox. But at the end of the day, Lean Six Sigma is about what? At the end of the day, why it is so important to master the framework they make, define, measure, analyze, improve and control, to master the tools and techniques that are part of the make. Yes, I've mentioned few of them now. 
Why? Why? Because Lean Six Sigma is about solving chronic problems. Ok, Marcelo, what do you mean by chronic problems? Chronic problems, the problems where the causes are unknown. Some problems, for some problems, if I take this AirPod here and it is not working right now and I see that the LED light is off, this is a problem with a known solution. I just need to go ahead and charge. I just need to charge that and the problem is solved or at least temporarily solved. Yes, unfortunately, in this planet, many problems, many quality problems, many safety problems, many delivery problems, they have unknown solutions, unknown solutions. So it's not only a matter of taking a look and, oh, I know the solution, I know the action that must be taken now. Or it's not a matter of putting everybody together, yeah, and running a brainstorming. No, no, no. We, we, we need more than that. And that's why we have an entire phase dedicated to guaranteeing that the problem is connected to the voice of the customer and the voice of the business. Then let's measure the entire size of the problem. Yeah. Let's find the root cause, find the potential cause, prioritize the potential causes and then validate the root cause. Yeah and then implement design solutions implement solutions and design control actions and implement control actions see that it's a much more robust approach if you compare to trial and error to guessing yes how much sense does it make from zero to ten so far how much sense does it make is it making from zero to ten so far yeah okay but then if for example, Jennifer, Matoni, Kandasami, <coughs> Zuharin, Rick, Bivi, Carl, yeah, Lumosi, Matoni, Vincent, one of my best students, uh, Meralona, what what hap what will happen? Or for some of these students here, what is already happening? with them okay so now Vincent masters Cypoc so now I can say that Vincent masters DOE I can say that now Vincent ma completely masters the make I can put Vincent to to teach in one of my sessions talk about the make like overview of the make I, I am pretty sure that now Vincent has the make pretty solid in his in his heart yes vincent started with me as a white belt and then he became a yellow a green and a black belt a certified black belt and he's an instructor he's a researcher he's a he, he's a practitioner of lean six sigma in in real life applications yes uh so wonderful he masters the make but what is, you know, the final, the final benefits, the final benefits. So I have listed here five for you that I consider the top five. Yeah, the top five. Uh, the first one is about bringing value to the tables where you sit. May I ask if you have ever participated on a table yeah on a meeting table table in general a meeting a conference you know a dinner where you had nothing to say nothing to add for example i have a, an older sister she's an expert in arts in painting yeah and and i know nothing very minimal I know minimal about Van Gogh, about Da Vinci, minimal. I am not an expert at all, in, especially in paintings. I like, I feel good when I see, but I, I, I don't know nothing. 
I remember that there was a dinner on my sister's house, that there were only professionals of this area, yeah, painting. I remember the sensation of being in a table, people talking about something that I like, but because of my poor knowledge and ability, I had nothing to add. I mean, you can stay there humbly, you know, humbly just listening and agreeing with everything. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, interesting. Interesting. That's cool. For dinner on my sister's house, that's okay. On business world, this is not okay. On a, on a, on a business lunch, on a business dinner, on a meeting, it is not okay for you to sit and say, wow, so cool, let me take note here. Wow, so cool, this is not good. You must speak up. You know that, right? Incorporate, incorporate this conversation that if you have nothing to add, just stay quiet, be careful, because you are being paid. You are being paid to bring value to the table. And when you know the make, you have access to so many tools and techniques that every time that someone talks about a problem, believe me, you will have something to say, adding value. Because you know about segmentation, you know about stratification, you know about the importance of histogram, the importance of a box plot, the importance of Pareto, of prioritization. Are you following me? Yeah? Are you following me? It is so important. So important. So the very first benefit when you learn Lean Six Sigma, uh, when you truly learn Lean Six Sigma, and I must say that, I must say that, when you truly learn Lean Six Sigma, you will be a person that when the topic is problem solving, you will always have a good question to ask or a recommendation to give or a smart way to observe and then recommend. Yeah. And once again, this is good. Incorporate world when you are talking to when you are on a business lunch a business dinner uh, a meeting on a one-one conversation sometimes you are talking to a person just the, just the two of you guys it is not good that only the other person is speaking up it is not good it's important that you that you present your perspective that you ask good questions that you recommend you know, um, things, yeah, <laughs> because it has to do with your branding, it has to do with, with, with your professional branding, yes, yeah? so important, so important, yeah, wonderful, second, 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 by mastering Lean Six Sigma, you will be able to run projects. So when there is a chronic problem in your corporate or with a client, you go ahead and you run a three month project or a six month project or sometimes one year project. And this problem is solved. There is a repercussion of that. Yes, there are some uh, positive side effects. You know that, right? Incorporate when you solve a high complex project, problem, people start talking about you. People start talking about you. So you will be naturally maximizing your chances to be promoted. Simple like that. Simple like that. Simple like that. Your work 
will be exposed in some way that depending on the intensity, it will be pretty much inevitable, unavoidable that you get a promotion, that you get a promotion. It happened to me many times and to many of my students and to many of my students. Just listen to me carefully. I am saying that you will be maximizing the chances to be promoted. Unfortunately, a promotion is not only a function of a good work. Unfortunately, there are companies and companies, and some companies, the level of politics and power games is so high that it is not the person that does the best work that will get a promotion. It's the person that know, knows how to play these politics and power games. Yes, you, I am sure you are following me. And if this is your case, if you are right now working for a company that is full, 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 so full of politics, because politics are everywhere, everywhere, in your family, in my family, yeah, among friends, unfortunately, uh, in all corporates, but the levels are different. The levels are different. And you must check what is the level that you can, you know, that you can digest to be emotionally healthy and physically healthy. And if it is above this upper spec limit, like in a capability analysis, you should consider uh, changing. You should consider changing. And once again, mainly if you are a black belt, mainly if you are a black belt, you will see that the black belt certification can help you changing not only to another department but to another company in the same sector and many times to another company in another sector i've started my career in electronics sector then i changed to automotive and then from automotive to service, to market research. <laughs> yeah, from automotive sector, Delphi Automotive Systems producing wiring harness, I changed to market share calculation, <coughs> net sample compliance, audience measurement, radio and TV. Yeah, F for sure. The first, the main element was my Lean Six Sigma certifications. To change from uh, Philips to Delphi, my Black Belt certification, and uh, from uh, Delphi to Nielsen, the Master Black Belt certification. Why? Because being a problem solver, by being a problem solver, many times what matters is the mechanism that you have in your head and in your heart to map processes, to articulate with stakeholders, to build alliances, to find root causes, to build a high-performing team, yes? To work with the expanded team as well, to design solutions, to implement solutions. And then from Nielsen, I had a chance to start part this partnership with Minitab and open up my own business, my own business. And by far, this is the best period of my career right now, yeah? Does it make sense? So this is the 30 benefit to change, completely change your career. Again, same company, another department, maybe you like the company where you work for, but it is full of politics in production department and then you may change to HR to procurement or you may change to another company in the same sector market research for example or you may change to a completely different sector yeah so once again you'll be able to 
to, to sit at the tables and uh, add value. And it has to do with your professional and personal branding. Yeah. Uh, promotions, same company, boom, vertically. Uh, change sectors, like horizontally, um, horizontal promotion. Yes. Uh, beautiful. Does it make sense? True, with a Lean Six Sigma Green Belt certification plus a decent skill set, you can bargain at least 30% of your current salary. Beautiful, Ivan. Beautiful. That is part of promotion. That's very important to reinforce. Uh, <coughs> normally, I avoid to talk about money just so I, I do not create uh, false expectations. But you are right, Ivan. It is very common that after a green belt certification, um, students make more money, make more money. There are some researches that point to the value of 15%, at least 15%. Yeah, I saw a survey, I think it's from ASQ, I think it's from ASQ, but I think it's for black belt that they mentioned 30%, 30% increase. Yeah, it depends on your country. It depends um, on the sector where you are, but it is fair. It is fair to say that a Lean Six Sigma body of knowledge internalized in yourself will be translated into into dollars, into dollars. Yes. Lean Six Sigma certification makes you versatile, hence making transition possible and easy. Beautiful, Vincent. Yeah? From 0 to 10, how much sense is it making so far? My fourth recommendation, my fourth benefit uh, pointed here when you learn Lean Six Sigma is to have your own business is to have your own business. Yeah. Yeah, because as an independent consultant, and this is more for more for black belts, for green belts, it is possible, but it is more for black belts. Okay. There is nothing blocking you from posting on LinkedIn, start posting on LinkedIn, start posting. Marcelo, but I have only one like. I have just one comment from my mother. That's okay. It's a good, it's a good starting point. Keep posting and, and learn from the posts that flop. Continuous improvement. Use LinkedIn. Use LinkedIn in your favor. From there, you can start reaching out, sending a message to people that liked your posts. Or first of all, you can start mapping out the people that like your posts. <coughs> because they may be potential customers. And you, obviously, you can think on a strategy to prepare posts specifically to attract potential customers. You can start thinking in posting, for example, things like, uh, do you know that there are simple techniques to help you reducing waste in your local business by 30%? Just that. Or are you interested in reducing waste in your local business by 30%? Something like that. I am not a marketing specialist. Yeah. And then you start talking about 5S, for example. Just 5S. Or you start talking about the eight types of waste. Or just one type of waste. You start talking about the, the danger of overproduction or overprocessing or waiting. Just that. Just that. The danger of over-processing or inventory, the danger of inventory for local businesses, for cash flow. You know that you must manage inventory. Inventory impacts cash flow. You know that, right? 
and for I mean for in any business cash is cash flow is is blood you cannot play with that you cannot play with that yeah cash flow is so important and for local businesses even more critical there are local businesses that simply shut down because they had three or four months with cash flow problems so imagine that you prepare on linkedin or on instagram or on facebook it depends on country to country but normally linkedin is very very powerful you prepare something saying um, take a look in this technique to optimize your inventory and then you prepare a good text you know a good um, a good amount of information that people that read that you know will get some value from that and then you check the people that liked and then you can start investigating these people and you may reach out one to one yeah yes one to one you go ahead and write down can we have a chat can we have a 30 minute chat you will learn so much from this simple mechanism free of charge free of charge free of charge you don't need to hire a company to prospect potential customers for you no 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 it's just a post yeah and you'll be getting better and better when i post something about desirability as i did yesterday i think on linkedin desirability is a very let's say um maybe i can say it's a it's an advanced topic maybe i can say it's an advanced topic take a look here a post about capability analysis a post about capability analysis <coughs> a post about capability analysis the engagement is much better is much better yes i have reached almost 20,000 people yeah um, a post about desirability take a look yeah oh no 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 a post about optimization pl plot as part of desirability yes uh, only 6,000 people but when I take a look in these guys here take a look Walid Guilherme Bolivar Ivan Ed Carlos Carlos Eduardo Sanches, Rayander, Flávio Martins Castro, Fernando Torrano, interesting, very interesting. I can come here to, for example, to Rafaela, to Rafaela, I can take a look, you know, okay, she's in Denmark, I think she's Brazilian, yeah, she's Brazilian, she has studied in Brazil, interesting. I can take a look here that she is a technician. Interesting, very interesting. I can just come here in message and write down. I see that there was something that we have talked about. Marcelo, uh, I did your, this is in Portuguese. I did your course and I would love to have you as a connection. And then I said, it's a pleasure to have you here. And then she said, uh, thank you so interesting she liked my post about an advanced topic we already have some sort of contact because she took one of my trains i believe it's a free train that she took interesting right now because of my huge demand including my baby arthur that is completing today 15 days and i made a decision of fully living the, exp the the fatherhood experience um, I am sleeping maybe three or four hours per night but I have never you know felt so alive in my life you know 
because of the combination of these factors, yeah, the huge workload, um, work demand, plus the amazing fatherhood experience that's happening in my life right now, I had to reduce consultancy. But Rafaela would be a person, Rafaela would be a person that I could easily, easily go ahead. Hey, Rafaela, how are you? I saw, I saw that you liked my post about response surface methodology, about optimization plot. Have you ever used? Are, are, are you using in your current company that is... In your current company... Yeah, the company that she's working for. Yes. Oh, no, you are not using. Uh, should we maybe schedule, you know, a 30-minute call for us? And then I fully understand her moment. And I can offer right away. Right away. I can offer right away. A consultancy. I can present a consultancy offer, you know. Uh, because when she talks about her problems by knowing the tools and techniques, we will easily, you know, f easily, easily connect. Wow, there is an opportunity to apply response surface methodology here. Or there is an opportunity to apply capability analysis here. And by asking a few questions, I can check if she is very much knowledgeable, if she's not. So I can check, you know, how much help does she need? Are you guys following me? This is powerful. This combination of social media plus 30 minute calls is gold. This is gold. Funnel mentality. Funnel mentality. Funnel mentality. Funnel mentality. You'll be talking to 10 Rafaelas to get one customer. So don't be impacted by no's. Don't be impacted by no's. You have more no's than yeses. The thing with a no is learn why. Why did Rafaela, why Rafaela did not accept my proposal? And you can ask this directly and you can listen to, a, to the unspoken voice of the customer. Yeah. There is a quote, I don't like this quote very much, it's a, it sounds aggressive for me, but they say that the rejecting customer is the best liar in the world. <laughs> it happens to us, right? When we go to a store and we don't like the product and the seller comes and then he asks, he or she asks, uh, okay, are you interested? And then you say, ah, you know what, what time does it close? Yeah. In fact, you didn't like the, the product or the service, but we don't say it because we, we want to be polite. And uh, the majority of us, I think, yes. And, uh, and so we must be, we must pay attention to the unspoken voice of the customer. Yes. But, uh, and, and at some point you can start directing someone to do this for you. To do this for you so again right now i am not doing a lot of consultancy anymore but in the past that was the exact mechanism that i was using exact mechanism that i was using you know until to fulfill my agenda to, to complete my agenda and then i and then i stopped doing that yeah <laughs> yes funnel mentality funnel mentality we don't get we don't get sad or emotionally impacted when we get a no you know we go to the next one with you know even more energy until yeah remember 10 percent conversion is amazing 10 percent conversion is amazing if you talk to 10 people and once one says yes this is amazing and please um Report that you don't need to have a CRM, yeah. Uh, so you don't need to invest on in that, but have an Excel file or a Google Sheet, you know, and um, create a uh, catalog, 
a catalog of the people that you have reached out and um, again to run some uh, some um, regression analysis to understand your persona yeah to understand your niche maybe to change to change your niche yes I have something to tell you and, and let me you I, I don't know if I should be talking about this right now but I wanna I wanna I want to check. Today, October 31st, uh, yesterday, October 30th, I have designed um, in more details an idea. It's a, it's a, it's a node dream. Uh, I, 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 I would like to have a mentoring program, a, 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 a literal mentoring program where I, I meet up with a small group of people where I can listen. I would like to listen to Vincent more. I would like to listen to Vincent more and more frequently. Yeah, and a mastermind. Mastermind is a group of people where the group is greater than the professor. The group is more valuable than the professor. So I have started this in Brazil two weeks ago. I have a group of uh, Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belts. It's a group only with mass certified Master Black Belts with 10 years of experience as Master Black Belts, 20 years. And we are sitting every other week to talk about best practices to to teach Lean Six Sigma. Lean Six Sigma education, best practices. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's a, all of this is part of an old, old dream that I had. And uh, I am right now um, translating this into reality. But the very next, the very next step that I'll be taking is to transform my current Black Belt Certification Program into a full mentoring program. How does that work? We have regular, regular meetings with me, with me. The number of black belts will be reduced, will be reduced, but I want to list to have more contact about career challenges, about business creation, about technical difficulties. Marcelo, can you please remind me chi-square, how is the p how is the p value for chi-square defined? Yeah? For tech for 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 deep and serious technical discussions, for soft skills as well. Yeah, for politics, for power games. He has a true mentoring program. Yeah. I don't know if there are any greens and black belts here may i ask how how much does it excite you if you see that how much does it excite you if you see for example an invitation you know to join this mentoring program and it's a one-year program very likely uh two hours i'm gonna spend two hours every other week so it's a 24 24 mentoring sessions included with me plus content and uh, certification test and um, all, all the mechanism that we already have in our black belt program but additionally the mentoring sessions with marcelo and uh, there would be individual individual checkpoints monthly monthly individual checkpoints. I would like to know exactly, exactly where is Mufumelelo and the, the challenges from Mufumelelo. I would like to see that. Kandasami, what's, where is Kandasami right now? What kind of challenges Kandasami is facing? You know, you know, Vincent, what is happening? You know, yeah. I have promoted from project manager to general manager. Whoa, Kandasami, that's amazing. Congratulations. 
Congratulations. So an example of a person that was positively impacted by a green belt certification. Yes. I think there is so much need for mentorship, professor, honestly, for us young ones who start in our careers. I'm pretty sure it will go in a long way helping us already. These sessions are just the best. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you. I'm glad to know. Yeah. So stay tuned. Stay tuned because uh, we will be launching this program very soon, very, very soon. And if there is anyone from Brazil, se tiver alguém do Brasil, esse programa de mentoria também acontecerá no Brasil, tá bom? Stay tuned for my students in Brazil. I'm going to launch this in Portuguese for Brazil and in English for people outside Brazil, ok? This is wonderful, professor. So, so I don't know if the green belt you can join. Yes, and then I'll give all the details. Yeah, if you are, you must be at least a certified green belt. If you are a certified green belt, then you can join. And there is a chance that I offer black belt only in this way. There is a chance that black belt becomes my my mentoring program. Yeah. And there is a chance that my master black belt becomes my mastermind, my mastermind program. Yeah. Wonderful. So yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <clears throat> so four benefits that I have talked about so far. First one to bring value to the table, promotion in the same company, change sectors, yeah, different companies, have your own business, work as an independent consultant. The last one, I know that I have talked about five benefits for your, for your professional career, but I want to share something very, very recent, very fresh with you guys. Let me see. Let me see. If I can show you this here. Yeah, I think it's I think it's good to show. Can you guys see? Let me know. This is baby Arthur. <laughs> yeah, the newest love of my life. The newest love of my life. Very effective in sleeping. <laughs> in uh, eating, you know, and uh, and uh, we are spending, you know, a very special, very special time together, very special time together. I didn't know that there was this kind of um, love, that it would be possible uh, to feel this kind of, uh, this dimension of love. I didn't know. I didn't know that this kind of sensation uh, existed, to be very honest, to be very honest. And uh, as you may know, the challenges, especially in these first days, are, are not easy, are not easy, are not easy. And uh, one of the most challenging situations happened, today is Tuesday, happened last Thursday, last Thursday, we went to the doctor, yeah, and uh, he did not gain the pounds that he should have gained, yeah, so his, his weight was very close to the lower specification limit, yeah, and then obviously I got, you know, uh, sad, I got annoyed, yes, what are we doing? Because it's Y as a function of X. The weight is Y, and Y is a function of what? The amount of milk, the amount of uh, food, yeah? The, 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 the quality of the food, <laughs> of the milk, the, the quality, yeah? So it's pure Lean Six Sigma. It is purely in Six Sigma, because the doctor didn't know. The doctor didn't know why why he was not gaining, 
you know, the amount of uh, weight that he should be gaining, yes? And, uh, and then, from the very bottom of my heart, I started uh, the MAKE project on Thursday. And then, the process that I've mapped was the process post-feeding, post-feeding. He's crying quite a lot. He's crying quite a lot. And three doctors said, three doctors said, three doctors, and, and plus my wife, plus my mother-in-law, they said, it is colic colic yeah so it's painful because it's full of milk yeah it's full of milk so i decided to investigate this process and searching online searching online and my book yeah my book and being wonderful so i is this defined is this problem relevant oh yes oh yes baby newborn weight is very relevant to the business to the customer yeah what's the size of the problem he should be 2875 and he was 2740 2740 so uh 135 grams yeah 100 a debit of uh, a difference of 125 grams that's that's the measure for it measure phase then analyze phase what is the root cause what is the root cause so by running this root cause analysis i went to gamba what is the gamba in this case i started talking to other mothers instead of talking to doctors my deepest respect to doctors but who is in the Gemba? Who is in the Gemba? Who is in the Gemba? Mothers. Or for, or let's say, mothers, mothers, mothers. So I talked to my mother, I talked to my sister, my other sister, I talked to friends of mine, I talked to 10 different experts. I went, I, I went to listen to the VOE the VOE and then I started seeing a pattern a pattern many people saying colic does not happen after every meal every meal no 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 this is not common my mother said that during a period of time during few days when I was a newborn I had to add, I don't know how to say in English, it was breastfeed plus none, plus a non-breastfeed, non-breast non, 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 non food, <laughs> yeah. milk, for a period of time. And my mother said that I was, she was so sad because she wanted to breastfeed only. And then there is all the connection with the mother that is so important, so important, yeah? <clears throat> but the fact is, wow, there's some historical data from someone that has the same DNA that needed, you know, additional food. <laughs> additional food. Based on that, to so see, potential cause, prioritizing the potential cause, now I need to run a hypothesis test to validate the root cause that he's just hungry it is not colic he's hungry he's crying because he's hungry simple like that and then we asked our doctor if we could the situation if we could test you know at least for a period of time yeah He simply stopped crazily crying as he was crying. Stopped by adding a little bit of none of this non 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 breast milk. Yeah, I don't know if this is the, the, the right way to say. I hope you guys are following me. 
Yes, we are adding a little bit of non-breast milk until the full, the full, the complete milk comes to the body of my lovely wife. Are you guys following me? Are you guys following me? Today is Tuesday. You can, you can feel that it is another baby. You look at his face. <laughs> cheeks, the cheeks, you know, has changed, you know. His belly, you know, is different. Are you guys following? Tomorrow is the official measurement. Is the official measurement. But he's crying much, much less. And I know that babies cry. I know that babies cry. But I cannot simply, because the thing that I've listened to the vast majority of the people is, babies cry. No, 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 this is too passive. This is too passive. They are crying, but they are saying something. They are saying something. And he was not crying because of colic. There was, there was nothing to do with colic. Nothing. Nothing. And my mother-in-law, my wife, my... The dog, three doctors, all of them say, no, that's it. They, 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 Arthur was screaming, you know, and that's it. Call it, call it, call it. Wrong, 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 wrong. We were not being assertive. Wrong, wrong. Yeah, I know that I don't have the... I'm not saying that I'll be applying the make to have a perfect life with my, with my, my family and solve all the problems with a newborn. And I am not saying that. I am not saying that. I know that for many problems, the make will not work. In corporate and in my personal life, I know that. But you can definitely, definitely run away from guessing or from this annoying passive behavior. Passive behavior that that's it, that's life, that's life, that's it. You know, you can fight that at the right level, at the right level. And in this particular case, he is now gaining weight, crying much, much less, suffering much, much less. Yeah? Are you guys following me? Because of a demake mentality. Demake mentality. And then the action was for, 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 for few meals, for strategic meals, to add this additional meal. Yes, for a period of time. For a period of time, yeah, we are prioritizing uh, uh, breastfeeding, yeah. But see, this is about it's the very first thing that I say in white belt. It's about increasing our assertiveness. We want to be more assertive. Oh, just one. Now I will be full of this example. Just one more example. There was this. Oh my God, my poor English. I don't know how to say in English. That you go to the feet, to the feet of the newborn, and then you take just a little bit of blood, you know, to do this. This uh, in Portuguese is um, it's like a feet, little, little, little feet test, you know, little feet test, something like that. You take a little bit of a, you know, and then we have to recollect the sample. The first sample didn't work. And then the laboratory just said to us, oh, we need to recollect. But you are kind of cutting, you are cutting the, 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 the you know, baby's foot. So it's not simply I'm gonna I will go to your house to recollect. No, I want to understand. I want to understand what happened. What happened? And then, just to make a long story short, we found out because there are circles. There are circles where you need to put the where you need to put the, the blood from the from the foot of the baby you know and then the way it was collected 
was poor, was incorrect, hard on process, soft on people, but I want to understand where is the failure. And then we found out that the expert was not available, so the manager came to collect the blood of my son. And the manager did not have the operational expertise, you know, as the expert. Yeah? With like cool conversation, polite conversation, but exploring, exploring. I wanted to understand the root cause. It's not simply to recollect. I want to understand a little bit more. And then at the end, the person, the manager said that. And then she concluded, you know what? So in the recollection, I'm going to send Barbara, that is the expert. I'm going to send Barbara. And then Barbara came, collected. Before sending, I called the laboratory, took a picture, validated, validated the sample. Because if the sample is not validated, we, we, we collect right away another one. Yeah? And it was validated. And now it is being processed. So you can, you can check if there are things that you can, problems that you can anticipate in terms of vitamins and, and uh, potential disease and everything. So uh, uh, why am I saying that? The benefits of, of learning a powerful problem-solving method as Lean Six Sigma, the benefits go way beyond corporate. Yeah, just be careful for not becoming a paranoid person. Don't become paranoid. There are many things that you will never fully control. We will never fully control anything. But from knowing that, the solution that many people say is, so let's just, let's just give up or, or let's just stay passive. And this is not right. This is not right. I know I cannot control everything. I know the importance of faith. I know. But there is a lot of things. There are many things that is in my region of action. Oh, yes. Many things that are here. Yes, many questions that I can politely ask. That I can understand a little bit more. And so I maximize the chances of being more assertive. Yeah. Does it make sense? Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Lumozi. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm glad to know. Yes, Vincent. Very powerful. Very powerful. Just to give one example of the fifth benefit that is how can you apply Lean Six Sigma in your personal life. By the way, type here me. If you have a baby, baby milk powder. Thank you, Kandasan. Yes, baby milk powder. I have experienced a colleague baby that made me resign from work. It was crazy. So see, yeah, it's, it's a serious thing. We bless the Lord for his wisdom. Bestowed on you. It saved you so much money that could haven't been spent unnecessary. Thank you. I take that. I take that microbiological test for blood yes thank you Kandasan. yes guys wonderful type here me if you have experience that lean six sigma has impacted your personal many of your personal decisions type here me yeah wonderful ladies and gentlemen it was a pleasure to be here with you all. Normally, I try to keep this session from 30 minutes to one hour. Yeah. And uh, thank you so much for your engagement in this chat. Have a blessed rest of week. Yes. And stay tuned for some special news very soon. And I stay tuned for invitations for more open uh, master classes as this one. Bye-bye. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.